Welcome to Digital Publishing. The icons of the player are easy to understand and let me show and explain to you how it works. So we go over with the mouse and first we see the table of contents. The next one will show you the link to the bookmarks. The following is to show you the thumbnails. This one will uh, exit the full screen. Right now we're in full screen mode. This is for when you want to zoom in to the picture. Uh, here are all the printing options. Um, this is the link for downloading the file as a PDF. This is a um, simple uh, sound on and off. And this particular link will allow you to share on Twitter and Facebook. The links in the bottom right corner uh, will show you the page transformation. So as here, it will uh, always return you to the first page or to the previous page. The other one will go to the next page and this one to the last page. And on here it's just simply to start the slideshow. The pages can easily be moved by just pointing your finger to the cor any of the corner and you slide them over. If you have a tablet you can simply uh, do it on the tablet which is sliding your finger and it will move too. See? It's very easy to be done. Slide each page over. Boom. There we go. And that's the end. Uh, to start the slideshow, you simply use the control at the bottom and you click here on the slideshow. And it will just automatically slide to each single page. If you like to have a thumbnails view of the book, you simply click on the thumbnails brings up the dialogue and it shows you basically all the pictures of your book. So if you want to go to uh, Toronto for example, you just click on Toronto and the page will show up. If you want to enter the front page again, you click simply on the front page. To download this uh, magazine, you simply can click on download right here and then the dialog will show up and um, download PDF file. And you can simply click on download and the program downloads towards your computer. So here is then the PDF file that is downloaded. And simply clicking to the different pages. And so, you know, people have a few of, of your book or magazine or album, or whatever you call it simply downloaded all the pages they like they can even print from here um, if you like to print a copy simply click on the printer icon and a dialog shows up and uh, it gives you different options uh, you can either print all the pages um, you can select pages you like to print or the current page you're on or a bookmark pages it also has a uh, zoom function you simply click it in and it allows you to zoom in and then there's a slider right here you can either slide it out or you can just completely slide into the image so it gives you a better view so this is just another one of these uh, amazing features another thing I'd like to share with you is how you can share it very simply on Facebook and Twitter. Um, when it's on the website the links will automatically show up and you just click on send and it's just that easy. It's all hands on and all the friends can share the pictures or the, you know whatever they see on the album. Um, now I'm going to show you a simple example of uh, bookmarks. You just click on the bookmark and the bookmarks comes open. Um, 
Here I just did one category, but uh, as you see here, it's fireplace sketches. Uh, I click on it, and it shows all the other sketches, but I just simply numbered. So if I want to see any of these, uh, sketch four and five, I simply click on here. And, you know, there it is. If you want to have another sketch somewhere in that album, boom, you go there. And simply clicking at the top, you come at the beginning of this album again. Or at least a section of it. So you can create section each different section in a book. So here is uh, another feature that I like to show you. I just turn the sound off. But if I turn the sound on, you have kind of a background music to it. You know, just basically turn the pages. And turn it off if you don't like the background music and um, if you want to have on each individual page music you can do that too you just can easily be inserted and requested for <laughs>